In today's video, we will walk through the steps to disassemble and repair our smaller injectors. This process will pertain to a list of injectors I'll post on the screen here. This repair procedure is the same for all injectors listed, with only a few minor differences in their structure. Each injector requires different socket and wrench combinations, so a tool list will be provided in the description below for convenience. For demonstration purposes, I'm using a 4-injector manifold set of SL32s mounted in a vise. In most cases, these will be mounted on a bulkhead similar to what you see behind me. Before we begin, let's listen to our safety notice. Caution! Before proceeding with any system repair, please wear proper PPE for the tasks such as gloves and eye protection. Before removing any components, make sure the system is shut down in accordance with your maintenance lockout tagout procedures and pressure is fully relieved from the system. Let's begin by removing the injector from the manifold. Slide a wrench on the injector body or wedge a shim or screwdriver in between the injector bodies to keep them from twisting. Place a socket or wrench on the inlet adapter. Loosen the adapter, then remove the injector from the manifold. Next, remove the two copper crush washers from the manifold and discard. These washers are single use only, please do not reuse or leakage may result. The spring and piston may stick with the injector body or fall into the inlet adapter after removal. Either way, separate from the body or adapter and place to the side. Place the injector body in a vise and remove the outlet body. Next, remove the check seat from the injector body housing. Remove the injector cap from the measuring chamber then pull out the piston spring. With a pair of pliers, remove the piston from the chamber. Lastly, unthread and remove the lock nut. Injector disassembly is complete. Before reassembly, I would recommend cleaning all components. Mineral spirits and a nylon or natural bristle brush are recommended to reduce chances of damaging components. After cleaning, examine the piston and plunger body for any damage from pitting or abrasion. These are fitted components and must stay together. Too much side plate, pitting, or scratching on the piston surface or inner injector body cylinder will cause bypass. If wear or damage is found, discontinue the rebuild process and replace the injector. This is also the same for the measuring chamber. Leakage due to pitting or scratching may occur in this location. Replace the injector if any damage is found. Now that the parts have been inspected and found acceptable for a rebuild, let's begin the assembly process with the measuring chamber piston. The repair kit supplies a new piston and seal. Attach the seal to the piston, then press into the measuring chamber. Slide the new spring over the piston, install the lock nut, then install the new injector cap. Moving to the top of the injector, install the o-ring onto the check seat, then place this o-ring up inside the top. Thread on the outlet body and torque to 10 foot-pounds. Last part to assemble is the adapter. Place the main piston into the chamber, then slide the replacement spring over the piston. Lastly, slide one copper gasket over the threads of the adapter. This completes the assembly of the adapter and is ready for install on the injector manifold. Ensure the mating surfaces in the manifold are clean of debris and damage. Install a gasket on the top recess for sealing the injector. Insert the adapter from the bottom and thread the injector body onto the adapter threads. Align the injector with the others on the manifold and hand tighten the adapter. Use a box and wrench or wedge a screwdriver in between the injectors already installed to keep from twisting, then torque the adapter to 15 foot-pounds. With injector now installed, you may reinstall the feed lines, purge the system, and run a test cycle to confirm operation. Hope this helps you successfully rebuild your injectors. If you have any questions about the topic shown today, please contact our technical support staff or your local area representative for assistance. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.